Since I was a kid, I always wanted to be a professional soccer player, and that's all I ever dreamed about was having my name and number on the back of my shirt. But as uh, the next, the last few weeks have shown, I think that door has uh, kind of been shut, and uh, I've received a lot of mercy and not having that a very hard thing to let go of. So I'll be taking a couple months and a half to uh, Austria to kind of continue some work that we did over there um, in the beginning of last summer. Uh, the soccer team went over and we did a lot of refugee ministry and we played against some refugees and got to have a meal with them and kind of just share our hearts and things like that. He's leading and assisting in coaching and leading uh, several teams in this refugee league. It's called the League of Nations. And so he helps run and facilitate the soccer league where you have other teams and other refugee teams come together where they train, they play. It's been sponsored, so they have train facilities, they have jerseys, and uh, it's just really cool to see uh, Connor um, following up with some of the ministry we did last summer on our soccer trip to Austria to see him partner with some of these ministries and then follow up and make it his own as well. I was immediately interested, um, but I still wasn't really sure. Like, I feel like I should be making money at this point. The system says that I should get a job after college and go on to real life. Um, but when this, this opportunity presented itself, I uh, immediately kind of got on board with it and God just provided and it was just amazing to, to see that happen, to see finances and provisions come out of nowhere. And so um, I knew I was taking the right steps of faith when things like that started to happen.